Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Um, I am doing a very fun collab with Kristen Plans. She's also known as Planning Kalo on Instagram. Please check out all of her information below. I will have it all linked. Um, we are going with a very minimalistic black and white theme for our kits this week. I'm going to be using a kit from GP Sticker Studio, What's New, right? Um, and I'm planning for the week of April 29th to May 5th. Um, seriously, it's like almost my birthday. It's mind-blowing. I'm turning 25 and I always tell people I'm like halfway to 50, so halfway to getting old, so we'll just go with that. Um, I already feel like I'm old. <laughs> um, but Kristen and I will actually be answering tons of like fun um, questions this week just because I don't know about you, but sometimes I personally get bored of just talking about the spread every single week. I want to do something fun and something different. So that's why I love doing collabs because I can get to know other planner girls. Um, and also, I don't know, do you guys think it kind of gets boring just hearing about the spread all the time? Um, let me know. I would be more than happy to talk a little bit more about, you know, different topics or any questions you guys may have. You can ask them below and I'll definitely keep them in mind for like my next videos. As you guys know, I try to upload tons of videos a week um, because I have no chill, but um, no, really. I just really love doing this. It's so fun. Um, but we will be answering tons of questions and I really like to get to know other planners. I think like you guys literally just see our hands and like of course what we put in our planners but um it's nice to get to know them a little bit i just feel like um like why not you know especially you, you can kind of get to know like their personality and all that stuff so i hope you guys enjoy that so we will go right into the questions in just a little bit so kristen and i came up with three questions each her questions are going to be the first three um the first question is what are three things on your bucket list the first thing is go skydiving. I've always wanted to go skydiving. Um, I love heights. I love the adrenaline rush. It's so fun. Uh, the second thing is build my mom her dream kitchen. Since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to, you know, renovate my mom's kitchen and give her her dream kitchen because she sacrificed so much for me and my siblings. I just kind of want to do something for her. And the third thing is um, I want to get married in Greece. I think Greece is absolutely stunning. And, you know, like the scene just like does it for you like you don't have to worry about decorating I just feel like it's just beautiful in itself you don't have to do very much um, and her second question is if you were to sorry if you were given a free trip to go anywhere in the world where would you go um, that's kind of easy other than kind of answering Greece I think um, my boyfriend and I would totally go to New Zealand we are obsessed with um, a rugby team called the All Blacks and if any of you watch rugby um, you guys may have heard me talk about going to the Rugby World Cup at the end of the year, and we love that team, and I just feel like New Zealand, like, just their culture is just so beautiful, the Maori people are awesome, um, and so yeah. And her third question is, what's the best date you've ever been on, and what's the worst? <laughs> okay, so let's start with the worst. So basically, I, um, you know, had met a guy at the gym that I was working at in, in college. It was like a part-time job. And um, so we went out to this Caribbean restaurant called Island Crave. And I remembered him saying like, well, first of all, when we were driving around, he had a rental car and he was driving it around like it was bumper cars. I don't know why he was just wrecking the shit out of it. And I'm sorry, excuse my language. But he was just like hitting every curb. And I was like, what are you doing? And he was just like, well, it's not my car. And I'm like, uh, no, bro, that's not how that works. <laughs> um, and then this, the, like what made it even progressively worse. So during dinner, you know, we were like trying to get, I was trying to get to know him at least. And so he was just basically after he had asked questions about me and I wanted to get to know him, he basically was just like, um, I'm kind of boring. Let's just keep talking about you. And I was like, hell no. Red flag. I was like, mm -mm, this is not going to work out. It was just so awkward ever since then, because I just feel like if you can't even hold a conversation on a first date, like, why even, like, why? Like, I just feel like, like, you know, you can be attractive, but I can't date a wall. Like, I, no, you can't be bland and boring. So that didn't work out. This may be biased, but my best date was with my current boyfriend. Um, we've actually been together three years coming up soon. And before we started dating, we were friends. And, you know, this was actually one of our first dates. 
he chose to just go on an Ikea road trip with me. And I thought that was awesome because I feel like most guys are just like not about, you know, going furniture shopping. Like, I guess it's kind of just boring. At least personally, like I grew up with three brothers, so I'm sure like they would not find that fun. <laughs> um, but the road trip was just awesome. We talked about so much. We got to know a lot more about each other. You know, he could hold a really good conversation and I value that very much is just being able to hold a conversation with someone um, and it be like a, a valid and valuable conversation, you know. And um, and then also, you know, he's now obviously my best friend, but, you know, that's what made our friendship so strong and our relationship so strong is because we can talk about anything. And then also, um, you know, we went to Ikea and it was actually around the time of my birthday. So he surprised me and he bought me a whole Ikea desk set. And I still have that exact same set to this day. Um, and then when we came back home, you know, to my apartment, he actually put it all together to, for me. So I thought that was really sweet of him. And um, he's an amazing person. So, yeah, that's easily my best date. And I just it was just such a like a good memory and nothing went wrong. You know what I mean? So the next questions are the ones I came up with. This one is, um, what old person things do you do? <laughs> I thought this was such a great question. I actually came up with three answers for, for this question. The first is complain about lights being on unnecessarily. Um, I think that might just go with be, like the way I was raised. I, I, I was raised in such a Filipino household. Like my mom was so frugal. She's always like yell at us for having a light switch on when no one was in the room or if you um, like the, the moment you stepped out, she's like, turn off the lights. And I'm like, oh, my God, like I literally just stepped out. Um, but I grew up in that kind of environment and uh, it just became like second nature, I guess. Um, but I'm constantly doing it. Even when I'm at people's houses, I'm like, are you going to turn your lights off? And they're like, no. And I'm like, they're like, Rachel, it's my house. And I'm just like, yeah, but you're wasting power and like. That's your electric bill, boo. I'm just trying to help you out. Um, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not that drastic of a, of a like, change. But I just, I'm so, like, on that, you know? Um, the second thing I do is that I sleep early. Or at least I used to. Especially when I, um, my older shift where I would wake up early. Um, I would really be in bed by, like, 8.30 or 9. And my boyfriend would always laugh at me and say, literally, like, like, how are you asleep so early? <laughs> I could never stay up and do anything with him because I was such a grandma. Um, the third thing is that um, I rarely go out to party or drink anymore. I'm not really, um, and I've mentioned this, I think, in my very, very first, like, planner video. But I don't drink a lot of alcohol in general. Like, I'm not, I'll enjoy a beverage every once in a while. Like, I had a margarita this week when I had Mexican. But that's not very common. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a grandma. Who cares? Um, <laughs> the second question is, um, what do you miss the most about being a kid? I came up with three answers for this too. The first is just playing outdoors. I feel like um, kids nowadays are not outside anymore. Like when I was growing up, everyone was outside. Like I was always roller skating or like using my green machine or, or biking. And every parent was on their porch with all their kids running around. Um, and like every parent, you know, looked after every single kid without even have like without any hesitation. Um, it was just so much more family oriented. I don't think it's like that anymore. Kids are literally stuck on their like iPads or gaming consoles. It's just awful. Um, the second thing is I miss that I could eat whatever the hell I wanted and it like not affect me in any way. <laughs> like my metabolism was insanely fast and I was skinny all the time. Um, that's not the case now. So yay for being a girl sucks. Um, the third thing is the biggest thing is not having any major responsibilities, especially like bills. God, like it sucks. I love adulting in the sense that I have so much freedom and I don't have anyone telling me what the hell I have to do, but I hate it in the sense that I have to pay bills, you know, and like you don't realize how much your parents were doing while you're growing up. Um, until you become an adult, you're just like, dang, that's a lot of shit they were dealing with. Third thing is, what would be some of the most annoying things about having yourself as a roommate? So I find this question so hilarious because it is incredibly accurate. Um, <laughs> um, my boyfriend hates when my hair is all over the floor. 
and I refuse to pick it up because I'm lazy about that and it doesn't bother me. Like I have so much hair and I have really long hair too. So I just, I can't control it. Like it's like my like shedding, you know, I can't, like I'm sorry. Um, and it's funny because he loves me with long hair, but then like you complain about my hair. Like pick one, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I could chop, chop it off if you want me to. Um, <laughs> but I honestly would hate that about myself because I don't pick it up. So, sorry. And the second thing is I hate doing dishes with a freaking passion. I hate dishes. You know, like, if you were ever raised in an Asian, like, family, um, we don't believe in dishwashers. You use the dishwasher as a drying rack. And if you know what I'm talking about, holla at your girl because it's true. Um, if you've ever seen Fresh Off the Boat, <laughs> she, like... The mom like taped the buttons on the dish on the you know on the dishwasher just because she didn't want her kids to know that it was a dishwasher. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've always used it as a drying rack, so we always had to hand wash everything. And my mom, being so frugal again, um, she would like yell at you like if you weren't using the water and if it was just running because you were just you know hand washing the rest of the stuff and not rinsing it off. She'd like turn off the water, turn off the water. I'm just like. Oh my god. Like it's constantly on and off, on and off. And if I didn't, like she'd just be yelling at me. So um one thing about being in my own house is like I can do whatever the F I want. So I just kind of I, I don't do them, so my boyfriend does them. So I would hate that about myself. <laughs> um no, but I think I do them a lot differently and I keep the water on because I'm kind of like in your face, mom, you're not here and you can't get on me about the water bill because I pay my water bill and it's the same every two months so it really doesn't make a difference so yeah okay sorry guys if I'm cursing a lot in this video um, I try to refrain from cursing but I'm just gonna blame it on Kristen my inner Kristen is coming out so sorry Kristen <laughs> okay sorry if I sound tired I just woke up I'm doing the last bit of my voice over here and um, now I'm just putting down these gold confetti um, overlay tape headers from Rose Colored Days. Um, that was very lengthy. <laughs> um, but I just chose to put them on on the majority of the full boxes at the top just to add a little bit of foil there. And then on to Friday I went ahead and marked that I had a meeting at 11 and um, used a paper clip as well from Sticky Sloth Designs. I have a full sheet of those post-it notes from GP Sticker Studio. So I was able to pull that in since this kit was a mini kit this week. And I went ahead and marked that I watched um, a movie called 13 Ghosts. It's an older like horror film. And I used a white deer stationary bow on that full box or sorry that half box. And I kind of did that throughout the whole spread with all of my um, half boxes. I used a white deer stationary bow in the middle. And at the bottom I marked that I filmed using a script sticker from Avenue K Design and a camera sticker from Samantha May Sticks. I completely forgot to put a Happy Friday sticker on like Friday or like my Friday sticker so I kind of did that off camera. And then on to Saturday I did sprints in the morning. Um, that is a GP Sticker Studio shoe sticker and then I marked that I had my manicure and pedicure. That's um, That nail sticker is from Avenue K Design. We went to this brunch place called Yokes on Us, which I think is a very funny name. It's in downtown. And that heart arrow is from Mandy Dreams. And then that brunch sticker is from Regina Laughs. I went ahead and marked that I filmed and edited. And then I also watched Endgame and went to Mod Pizza with my boyfriend and my neighbor. That pizza sticker is from Magic Prince Co. And Endgame was really good. Um, I have mixed feelings about it. And it was such an, emo an emotional roller coaster the whole time. So I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. Um, but then Sunday I'm just marking church, also that I'm doing laundry, going to the gym, uh, I plan to go to the mall and do some shopping for new clothes, and then I'm going to upload this Erin Condren Plan With Me collab with Kristen Plans. Um, and at the bottom of Sunday I went ahead and marked that, um, oh I just went ahead and used a rose colored days squiggly bow just to fill up that space. And then now I'm just filling out the rest of my sidebar. Um, and then I'm going to show you the leftover stickers. Um, again, this was just two sheets, so I didn't have very much to work with. But here's a Viv Wiggle. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in my next one.